Alright, hello guys, welcome back to another video. So it looks like we have an update on the Pokemane situation with her minus snacks. Because if you guys do not recall, Pokemane was in a little bit of controversy. And the reason why she was in controversy was because people were claiming that she ripped off another product that quite frankly had the same name as her product, which happens to be the Midnight Cookies. And another reason why she was called out was because she was upcharging on her minus snacks, in which each bag had around four ounces in it. And she was selling a four pack of these for like $28. So basically you're paying $7 per bag for 4 ounces, and it's a huge ripoff in my opinion, especially when you look at the other brand that she was ripping off of, where each bag happened to be $10, but you would get 14 ounces for $10. So essentially for another $3, you're getting like 10 more ounces. So yeah, I guess you can say you're paying for the branding, or it's just flat out a scam. And in today's video, we're going to be talking about how she responded to the accusations, and yeah, without further ado, let's get into it. So Pokimane two days ago put out a tweet, and she said, there's been some confusion about the product I just launched and I'm here to set the record straight and then as you guys can see right here she attached some tweets I think that this one is the drama alert tweet I'm not too sure on that one but then if we look at the other screenshots we can see that she added a response in which she says the batch of Mina cookies we're currently shipping were made three weeks ago they are not a drop shipped product and we own our formula the cookies they are being compared to are also made by our manufacturer creation foods which specializes in healthy food okay so I really hate to interject here but like you literally just admitted to you not creating the product and you know that bs where you're like it took us like two years to make this or whatever well okay maybe it took you two years to come up with like the idea to make a company like this like minus snacks or whatever but the product isn't original like how can you say that this is original when creation foods made the other product which happens to be the same exact product but the only thing that you guys changed was you added what like some vitamin d or whatever and then i guess another thing that you did that was original i guess you could call it is you upcharged the product for some reason and you decided to make the portion smaller like you've got to be kidding me right now but anyways continuing on the compared cookies had one test batch sold before they were retired months later we partnered with creation foods and fell in love with the flavor profile of the midnight cookie okay once again you lie where is this on your website like this is all new information to us our story begins with pokey and darcy uh no it doesn't it begins with creation foods like they lied and they tried getting away with it and it didn't work lovers of snake Snacks. Devotees of quality food. This shared passion was met with an equally shared frustration that the snacks they loved the most often made them feel the worst. So they set out on a journey to create the most craveable, poppable, feel good snacks of all time. Well, I don't really think that you can say that you went out to create these awesome snacks on your own, or really at all now that you think about it, because Creation Foods already had the snack. Like you didn't invent it, and it was already out there, and you ripped it off. Real ingredients, sustainably sourced, vitamin D, no gluten, no. GMOs, nothing artificial. Better snacks make us happy, so we made them to share with you. Or maybe the reason why you're happy and the reason why you decide to share them with us is so that you could make a quick buck. Because in my opinion, when it comes down to a good snack, right, you offer a good portion size for a reasonable cost. But in this case, this is super unreasonable. And I understand, oh, you're you're like uh, an influencer or whatever. And you know, if you buy this product, it's like you're paying for you know the logo and like the branding that comes with it. But honestly in my opinion that's no excuse this is quite literally like a scam and i hope nobody buys this anyways i went on a little bit of a tangent there let's get back to reading we then decided to work together to refine and improve the formula you exactly said it right there you didn't create anything you're just refining i guess and improving the formula that's all you're doing it's not a new product. You didn't create anything. Did you create the vitamin D that's going into it or something? Like, it doesn't make sense. And we're really happy with the final product. While the ingredients list may look similar, they are entirely different in terms of ingredient quality, quantity, slash ratios. You, you've got to be kidding me, dude. You're really going to even make this a point at this point? Oh, dude, this is just so annoying. You're offering less and you're upcharging. Like, honestly, Pokemon is just a loser at this point. Sourcing, the size, texture of the cookie, and of course, added vitamin D. You know, when it comes down to vitamin D, I was watching Optimus's video and he brought up like a really good point when it comes down to vitamin D. Go the fuck outside if you want vitamin D. Like this product is actually so sad because I think the only people who would need vitamin D like as like a supplement or like in their food would be literally people who just don't go outside. Like touch some fucking grass, all right? Don't buy this garbage. You're being scammed. You're literally being fucking scammed. Like everything about this product is such a big joke. And if you buy this product, you're going to go broke. Refining for 
formulas is a very common practice in the food industry, plus around 70 to 80 percent of foods you see in grocery stores are white labeled. Okay, again, like I said in the last video, it's like, bro, it doesn't, I, I don't care if it's white labeled. And like I said in the last video, a huge example of that is the stores like Walmart. They'll make the same exact product and then they'll just slap their branding on it and then they'll make it cheaper. But with yours, you're not making it cheaper. You're overpricing it. You're upcharging it. And also, you're not being honest about it either. Like you're literally claiming that you took two years out of your life to create this product and invent it. But it turns out that is just a huge lie. Again, pricing. Making a healthy and quality snack with real gluten-free ingredients and added vitamins is not a cheap practice. If you've been following me for some time, you know I rarely take sponsorships because I try to be mindful of promoting or endorsing products. I haven't sold merch in years. I cap my donations and frankly, if I wanted a cash grab, it'd be silly to do that through a startup because they're extremely unlikely to profit in the first few years. Plus, any profits we make go directly into creating more quality products. Yeah, I'm not really too sure if I'm believing you on this one, Pokimane, as how expensive is vitamin D? And also, why did it have to be vitamin D? Out of all the vitamins, it had to be vitamin D. The one where it's literally like, go outside, go stand in the sun, and get your vitamin D that way. Go touch some grass. Like, it's really funny to see that it has vitamin D in it, something you can get as easily as walking outside, because this really makes it look like this is like targeted at, you know, her tier three subs, you know, like the 30, 40 year olds who just live in their mom's basement, who the only thing that they do all day is literally just watch Pokemon and play video games and don't do anything to contribute to society. Like that type of person is what this is quite literally targeted at. And it's just really sad. But moving on, Mino has been a two year passion project to create a brand that provides the healthy and yummy snacks that we deserve. Well, if they cost that much, I don't think anybody deserves them. I don't. Trust me, man, I'm not paying an arm and a leg for a snack, all right? If you try the cookies and love them, I am so grateful and thank you. We are already working on new products and I can't wait to show you all. Yeah, I really can't wait to see what the next product is going to be. It's probably just going to be a ripoff of like Oreos or something. Like quite literally. Like these people are so unoriginal to the point where, where they're literally out here just like ripping off other products, claiming that they created them when that in fact is not the case and they're fucking liars. Like man, just get out of here. If you think that anything that Pokimane does is original, well, I guess it's time time to wake up because pretty much everything she does including what she reacts to on her stream yes she's a reaction youtuber and as far as i'm aware she doesn't do much else than just doing that while eating her lunch every day is not even one bit original but yeah i guess with that being said i'm gonna wrap up the video right there thank you guys so much for watching if you thought that this was a good video make sure you hit the like button so it gets promoted more in the algorithm so more people will see the video if you're new to the channel and you happen to like the video make sure you subscribe because you will not want to miss out on any of my future content and if you have any questions comments concerns or opinions about anything make sure you leave a comment down in the comment section down below and uh yeah my name is brion and i will see you in my next video peace